Alrighty, so the servers are back up. We can finally continue on our last Epoch playthrough. So last time we left off, we're trying to go to the next area, but unfortunately it never loaded in. So now we're going to click on this thing and it's going to allow us to go to the next zone and it looks like we're good to go. All right. I'm so excited to hopefully complete the campaign. So right now we're already in chapter four. So there are nine chapters in total. And after you finish chapter nine, you're going to be doing the end game content. And there is still more content to consume in the end game. It's not just completing like the same like bosses. There are specific bosses that are only in like the end game. So yes. just accepting all the quests that we see. And then again, we're checking real quick. Does this give us anything good? Nope. So I'm not going to do any of the side quests that don't award uh, any of the things that we want. Like basically we want idols, passive points. That's basically it. There's no special quest that gives you like maximum resistances like in Diablo 2, like Anya and stuff. I actually kind of like that system where they had all these special quests. Oh, you just bought the game you can't wait to get in tomorrow? Oh, because the servers? Or you just uh, can't play it the same day? So this is one of those instances where we've got to go all the way around. Ooh, look at that. Level 27. That's also causing a, like a stun. That's great. You all oh, you saw the hammered in. Oh yeah, you can build the hammered in. So we got the waypoint and the next objective is. Right around the corner. And we got another one for the Ballista, so I think the next one we can get Pierce. And that will be quite nice because being able to have Pierce uh, will let us clear out stuff a little bit faster in the campaign. So yes, right here, enemies Pierce. We could get maybe one or two points into Pierce because getting base crit is probably really good to get. It'll actually let us crit, but scaling crit multi and stuff you don't really get it till like late game to make it like really good. And most of the stuff is dying so fast anyways. Okay. And we actually have another uh, passive point that we can go and throw in. And we can just get uh, more dex or more HP. Uh, both are actually okay. Mana regen is actually not that bad. Um... It's not that bad too to get that extra mana when we dodge I and mean, getting five. We have to put five points into it. And I would say that might be something that might be in the optional category. We just stack as much dodge as possible considering that thing, I don't think it had an internal cooldown. Oh, never mind. Well, it has a cooldown of one second. It's important to look at. Yeah, that the cooldown is like so so small. It's basically non-existent. But I guess if you were to like dodge a bunch of small stuff, you would just go straight to full mana, which would be awesome. Season three is too easy for Diablo. Oh, like as in you finished everything? Well, I think Diablo is meant to be more of a casual game. Unless you're like doing uber uniques. Uh, 
I need to get some more HP on our build. And we'll get some more dodge. on going should be yeah, at that little door in the top oh you're welcome black sprout yeah you you don't want to run two cop like two support gems in poe the only exception would be if you're like maybe just wanting to level up the, the gem because you can still level up the, the gem that way but if you're running like two added cold damage, that's not gonna work. But there are things that are like similar. Like you can get like, I don't know, hypothermia or some other source. The best way is to be like look in the wiki and that would be similar to this game. Wondering like what other things work. I always recommend checking like the wikis for any video game. get some more HP on this build. We actually probably need to look at some more uh, defenses because as you progress in Last Epoch, you actually definitely want to get max resistances. Once you get towards the end of the game, you, you will definitely feel the damage. Or you can start stacking a bunch of armor because armor actually works for everything except for like dot. Unless you get like this one special thing that can give you uh, value. Oh, we just got a legendary. Let's see what we got, guys. A legendary ring. Ooh. Let's see, what is it? I'm excited. Oh, it's a tongue. It is not really useful for us. It's a poison spells. It gives us three to all attributes, but it's poison on spell hit. And we don't scale poison, so basically it's uh, not gonna be useful. So I believe this opens after a certain amount of uh, kills. Okay, there it goes. So yeah, there's some quests in this game or like ways to progress where if you didn't have a guide, it would be a little bit vague. Some people could get lost. But... Super tanky, that ox. Oh, okay, it's dead now. Then we'll get some more HP. And we could think about getting that dodge. I'm thinking about it right now. We don't have like particularly a high dodge, but we get more dodge over here. Maximum health gained as endurance threshold. All right, let's just get more HP. Oh, and we just got net, so that's a brand new skill. Let's go try it out, see if it's any fun. So what does it do? It leaps backwards and throws a net which snares enemies and deals physical damage to netted boss and rare enemies have 30% less movement speed and other enemies are immobilized. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Hmm. I can't, it, can't, it can't move like at all and it was like whacking its tail. <laughs> How long does it take to get to end game? Uh, you know, I don't have a good estimate uh, because like, I already have, like, so many characters at Endgame, but I also played the beta. But on average, my guess is about 8 hours if the servers are perfectly fine. If the servers are having issues, I mean, it could be, like, 12, because... You know, sometimes I'm sitting here, and I have to redo some of the quests, too. Does it cost mana? Oh, it's, like, 2 mana. It's, like, no mana, basically. So let's see, the Corrupted Lake. Now, is that part of... 
but we don't have a quest for that one. Maybe it'll be accessed later. But for now, we have a waypoint also right there. Unless we have the quest, I'd rather just keep on going through the uh, the campaign as quickly as possible because the end game is what you want to get to. Something over here. Well, it's, is it's marked over here yet? I want to fight a boss coming up pretty soon. I think we can go up here. Let's see. No. Doesn't let us. Some of the areas you're allowed to, to dash through. Welcome, traveler. May you tear a smile upon you. Spam over here. A puncture level up. One of the skills, like, I don't really care about this net. Like, this net is, like, a whatever. Uh, but, I mean, it's it's a boss, and 35% less movement speed is actually not that bad, though. Now, Welcome, it, if that also affects their, um, their attack speed, then that could be actually pretty big. But, especially if the boss is, like, melee, you know, that might not be that bad at all for now. Because we have one extra skill slot right there. We also have uh, Puncture. I'm just going to put more points so we can have more of these Fury stacks. We can start stacking as much bleed as possible on the bosses. Because most of the small stuff, it's melting. Crazy the amount of like stacks of bleed that you can just apply instantly with this. You could also think about using decoy. I think decoy is actually a pretty decent like thing to have. Because I'm pretty sure you can make decoy also explode. It's not as good as like the explode on ballista. Because the reason why, by the way, Ballista is like out of control right now is because it scales its explosion with your dex and it doesn't have like an internal cap of like how, like maximum of this amount. So you can just go to the moon. Am I playing on controller? Yes, sir. We are playing controller. Yeah, we're on PC. Hello, question mark. How are you doing? What game is this? This is Last Epoch. Alright, next one. And we'll be about level 50-ish by the time we complete the campaign. So if that gives you kind of a guideline on like, well, how far we progress in the campaign. Eh. Gives you a rough, rough-ish estimate. Maybe we get the, the multiple piercings for the, uh, the Ballista. Oh, Ballista's Jade Ring. So maybe, hold on. We might have got... This is the ring, by the way, the, the, the unique. Uh, we have 
Is it considered throwing? No, it's just physical bow attack. Uh, I'm not sure why it's got ballista in the name. Uh, and that unfortunately, no good stuff. We're still rocking this terrible amulet, by the way. All this is giving us is 41 health. The rest of the stuff, like, we don't even use cast. We're doing attacks. Stacks of bleed though. 30 32 stacks. That's crazy. Let's see if this is any good. And uh, we're just looking for decks on anything. Like, I have a bunch of dexterity shards just that we could craft on, but I'd rather save those for later. Unless we get, like, a pretty decent item. Stutter stepping goes pretty hard in this game, though. Our I love sisters. it. <laughs> I forgot what they had the sounds. Well, hello. How are you doing, Largest? What game isn't this? Oh, this is definitely not not Wilson. I'm glad that most of the skills work, though. Like Diablo was still fixing a bunch of its uh, skills, like not working. Let's see if we got something really cool. We get uh, seconds of traversal skill cooldowns recovered on potion use. Eh, that's not going to be too useful for our build, but sometimes those can have some cool effects. Definitely need to be looking at some uh, some better armor. All right, so let's grab more more HP, more dodge. It's a good amount of dodge. Right, let's see what do we have for. Uh, it's twenty six. It's giving us it's giving us a bunch of fire res so we're basically fire res kept with this and it's minion damage uh this is gonna be maybe a little bit better because it gives us extra dodge rating two percent chance <laughs> two extra percent chance not to take damage we would probably replace the gloves we actually can replace a lot of things uh in this build Two bow attack speeds. I kind of like that. Let's see what else did it have? So it has bow attack, no flat damage. Because our current one has what, like three? Two. Two fire damage. We'll see. We can see if this actually adds or subtracts damage. So, four, five, five, four, six, one. Okay. 
That's better. I mean, it only adds two. And there's that chance to slow and hit, too. And we'll also have that chance to shock, which reduces its lightning resistance and increases the chance that it could be stunned. But it doesn't really work against bosses that well. What is the max level? 100. So same, same as like pretty much every action RPG. All right, so we can actually get this. I think we're just gonna get that extra piercing with this. Uh, what were we getting? Oh yeah, that one. Put points into that. And then you leave a shadow in your place. Okay, we can create a shadow. So what's cool with the shadow? Oh, we can't use this. Okay. Shadow over here. Now some skills will actually activate the shadow. I just want to show you guys what it looks like. Honestly, the dash doesn't really matter too much. But I'm gonna unspec out of that because we're not gonna really use it. But yeah, the shadows can use some of your skills. It's really good for Blade Dancer, but we're not Blade Dancer. But I want to show you guys what it looks like. So we're gonna go respec. So we're just gonna remove one point, and then we're gonna have to relevel up uh, to get that point. But it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. The only thing that really matters is like at level like 19 to 20, those ones take a really long time to go from level 19 to 20. It's like Path of Exile, the very final level of getting your gem up, it just takes so dang long compared to the rest of it. Like it's just by a mile. Kill this like a uh, elite pack over here. better oh. uh, we should actually look for a better chest piece so this one's probably better at this point All right it's giving us some decks it's giving us armor dodge like right now this is giving us 52 armor a little bit of mana regen 33 armor shred effect we don't have anything related to that it's giving us extra dodge you can go swap it so you now have 20 percent chance not to take damage Good. Put him out of the trap. Could probably look at replacing the boots too now at this point. Glory. So we have plus one more damage and then four physical. Unfortunately, we don't have any lightning damage. Otherwise, that could be kind of good. So we have move speed, uh, dodge rating, vitality, and then two resistances. We'll, we'll swap it now for two resistances. I probably won't ever use this because uh, charges for like a very specific skill uh, on a class that we're not using, probably not useful for us right now. But ideally what we're just looking for is just dexterity on every single piece of gear. Dexterity, life, that's it. I mean, if we got bonus damage to minions or bow damage, that's all good too. Decoy would actually be really good. Let's go ahead and run decoy for a bit. Let's see kind of how that is performing. We can also see, oh, we just got a new coat. What does this one do? 64 armor, necrotic. Oh, that's like got a lot of resistances here. So if we run this, we'll be like really good on resistances. I mean, we're gonna be losing out on uh, dodge rating, which is like 3% dodge. 
but this will give us way more resistances and in my personal opinion resistances are far more important let's see like this much better this is what I've heard it's, it was just used as a filler item because we had an extra slot right there let's continue and also this armor looks a lot cooler than the last one Thoughts on the launch? I mean, like, the launch uh, obviously launched pretty bad, though. Like, it wasn't playable. I can understand maybe, like, the first hour login issues, but at the first day, the game was still, like, having issues. But you know, at this point, I want to say it's relatively playable. Still not perfectly smooth. So you can get stuck in infinite loading screens, and you have to reset the game. But they have matchmaking, like, for the dungeons. Or, like, a, a group finder? Mm. You know, I don't, I don't know of it. You could probably look on their Discord. That's probably what I would recommend. Go check their Discord if you're looking for people to play with. It's probably your best bet. But I don't know if you can just search. Yeah, I don't know if there is any matchmaker. Someone else knows. More HP. It's the last HP that we're gonna be getting for a while. Let me start scaling even more defenses too. Like I don't even think that's a bad thing at all. Oh, I want that intelligence. Yeah. That's the glyph of hope. Don't skip out on any of the glyph of hopes or dexterity shards. The int shard is for another class. better amulet if I just had life on it I would instantly swap what's our current helmet our current helmet is probably pretty bad too right it's got 25 health 44 armor eh. I really want to replace our amulet so we haven't gotten any good items with like dexterity in a while so That decoy totem is doing a lot of work. I like it. Can we shoot through this? Yeah, we can. Oh, I can teleport through the wall. Okay, go to the next area. Let's see how fast the load times are. It's, it's get, it feels like it's getting better. I'm sure within a week this game will be perfectly fine. But... Yeah. You got the game? You're in Saw now? Oh, awesome, man. I hope you have fun with it. Do you know what class you're playing? If you, if you want to play the, one of the best classes, it's definitely Falconer. Falconer is so good. A rune master. Ah, okay. Try out. Try it out. Like all the classes are playable in this game. Like in some games, it becomes like way too hard for certain classes in the very beginning. Or even in the end game. I'd say in this game, I mean, certain classes are definitely better than others. That'd be a really hard thing to balance. And Paler's what, like a, oh, it's a staff?
Oh, you know what? I did the wrong turn here. But it's okay, we got that cooldown reduction trying, so we're gonna be fast. Boss time. Why can't we get a good amulet? <laughs> We're still rocking the uh, plus 40 health. Plus to, uh... That's it. Well, that was... Oh, that's it. Wolf Companions, Actually, which, yeah. Refreshing. We have nothing to do with now, Wolf Companions. <laughs> Alright, so we can get extra dodge, we can get mana regen, and then... This one gives us extra stats. It's, it's really not that bad. But you don't always have to stick in one tree. Like, the reason why you'd want to push all the way through, like, Tailwind is actually a pretty good thing because you can get increased movement speed, which is quite nice. And you take less damage while moving. Uh, you can kind of read and see, like, if there's anything towards the very end specifically that you need to actually, like, go for. Uh, which can be pretty good. I think Glancing Blows is absolutely amazing, but you do have to actually spec into getting Glancing Blow and some sort of bonus. Uh, this is good too, because it's giving us health and dodge. Uh, you have additional dodge rating, and you have a chance to drop caltrops when you dodge. It'd be kind of cool. And if I hold alt, does it tell us what caltrops do? Okay. Now, with the whole caltrops, you you can actually spec into that, and whatever it drops the caltrops, it'll drop the one that you actually go into. Um, this one's not bad too, getting that extra dodge over there. When you use a certain ability in bar, you gain three stacks of silver shred. Oh, this is actually kind of cool too. Uh, so, but does it actually explain the shrouds? Oh. Oh, you dodge the next hit you would receive and consume uh, all stacks to gain 100 ward per stack. So, I think that this one could be kind of nice. So, if we want to push through that, what other, like, defensive ones do I want? Because okay, I feel like we have enough damage right now. It's just that if we can get some more survivability. So, that could be dodge rating. We can get this one up to, uh, what is it, at four points. We get some sort of bonus. We actually have... Um, Maximum health is gained as endurance. They have a kind of a, a vague explanation of this. We, we can get this um, over here. So our maximum health gain as endurance threshold. So uh, how it like works, it's kind of confusing to be honest. It says uh, endurance reduces damage dealt to your health below your endurance threshold does not reduce damage dealt to ward. So it's it says endurance calculated as damage reduction. So once we get that, that's more of uh, the uh, endurance uh, Maximum health. It's not bad because we also still get dodge rating. And this is giving us what, like, uh, was it five per? And this is giving us seven per, so it's double. And then we get another bonus, like, defensive stat. And then we can get the dodge giving us extra mana, too. So, kind of double dips. We have another uh, point over here. Uh, I actually just like specifically getting this. We get the extra cooldown. 4%. Small, but. If I'm able to keep on going faster, I like it. Ooh. That's actually way too dangerous to go in like that. Ooh. So, we actually melted to poison damage. This area over here does significant, significant poison damage. So, one thing that we could do is if we have any like poison damage, uh, resistances, we should try to run it. I think our helm, uh, oh, there's a helm that can drop that has lots of poison res for the rogue, but you'll notice in this area, it's going to be heavy, 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 heavy poison damage. And when the stacks start building up, you will melt instantly. Throw that decoy totem. Hopefully do a little bit of work there. Or we could just craft poison resistance too. 
lot of damage over time in this area. This bleed too. But the poison stacks are the ones that are actually going to kill us. Hopefully we'll get some better pieces of gear to just drop. I want to try to get them all lined up. Since we're playing soft core, it doesn't really matter if we die. I'm probably playing way too safe now. Let's see. Oh, it's separate. There's no way we're gonna be using that now. One of the better items to get is like a, a winged axe, and the reason why is it gives us movement speed. It's not bad, but we actually just need poison res. Okay, let's see what we got. We got some belt, which gives us extra health dodge rating. Uh, we don't really need void res right now, anyways. And this one's the extra 15 health will be okay. I don't really care about the minion health because our minion isn't really having a problem uh, surviving. And what does this ring give us? So it's 11 dodge. That's really about it. 11 dodge is all that it's giving us. This is going to be much better. I think it's actually pretty garbage at this point. But there is a helmet that you can get. It's a very common uh, helmet. And on the implicit, it has like 20 poison res. Because our current poison res is 17. You can see why I, I can play PoE all night. Oh yeah, Path of Exile. Well, action RPGs in general, uh, I can I can play easily like all night and just zone out. Is this a Diablo knockoff? I mean, it's an action RPG. like a, a genre of a game. I'll pick up that key. But we gotta really watch out because once we get hit by that poison, we don't have our poison res capped. We got a better bow. All right, so we have plus 24. Uh, the bow damage leads to this health is kind of okay. But let's see what the damage is, 468. Eh. Uh, the difference is that we get that extra like attack speed, which is kind of nice. So. It's gonna be no physical resistance. Uh, what's our resistance on this one? It's got, what do, I wanna keep this one right now because of the poison res. Uh, physical, physical damage, 62. Was it eight mana regen per second? Yeah. Doesn't have flat HP though. If it did, I'd automatically take that. Let's see what this quiver does. We got poison damage. We got poison trance on hit. Unless one bleeds and inflicts poison on hit. Definitely gotta watch out for that. Defensive stats. Uh, I do think that getting that that nine res is actually pretty good. Well, this one gives us necrotic. This one gives us what twenty? What's the armor on this one? Sixty four. 
It's going to be mana regen versus another resistance. But that 9 is actually multiplied times 3 because it's basically 3 different resistances over here. But we can check our uh, resistances. Oh. Uh, kind of balances that out a little bit more. This one gives us more poison rest. Uh, so armor on this, 64. What we could do also is we can literally just go open up the craft thing. I mean, it's not that difficult. And then I could say, what do I want over here? Do I want mana dexterity? Now, I don't really care about any of these. None of these are really like super, super strong. So I'm going to go say no. And we're just going to use the armor. Okay. Just going to go continue. Yeah, resistance is just like in any action RPG towards the end of the game. You want to have them all capped. Regen. Uh, seven percent. That's like nothing. Twenty. It's one or two minutes. What does this one have? To, this one had like poison rest. Oh, we can actually look at this and see if there's any other thing that we can craft on it. So I can add to this movement speed. I have four of those. I can have. I have twenty-five dexterity ones, which is quite a bit. But uh, I don't think I want to add dex to those boots. They're, they're not good enough. Because unlike some of the other ones where I would just add like a tier one, like with dexterity, I want to add those to be high, high tier in every single slot for the end game. So, okay, cool. We leveled up, so that's gonna be a little bit better. So we can get extra. Um, what's the other one that we get for extra threshold? Uh, this one requires is what is it four? Okay, let's just get a bunch of this endurance up. So we can uh, have some extra dr. maybe some more dodge so we just don't even take the damage because if we just don't take the damage we don't need resistances right really i really do want to run a shield but So we got hidden gems, so we can open up the map, see what we get with this, and this does give us a skill point. It's only on PC as far as right now, yes. Have it been crashing or is it online fixed? No, it's actually pretty good right now. I mean, I, I crashed like a few moments ago. Well, it's just like the infinite loading screen, uh, or you can get the... Uh, so when you're going to another zone, it's just infinite load screen. Or in the very beginning, when, when you're trying to select your character, it won't, uh, it won't, like, load your characters in. Amulet remedy is that that's poison res right? Oh yes, finally, finally something like useful. All right, now we have thirty poison res, but we can have seventy five, which is way better, obviously. Let's see what's this? Come on, uh, nine health on kill. Mm. What is it? Increased damage over time. 37 percent dot we can see if it's better it is a little bit better and it's giving us nine health on kill and if i want to ideally we'd have it just have two flats uh 
some damage. But what we can do with this, if I want to add something else, I can add bleed on hit, which isn't really like that bad because I'm not going to scale bleed later. So I don't really mind that kind of wasting, so to speak, like one extra little mod on it. A legendary, but it's a two-handed mace, which we will probably not use. But maybe we can trade it. Let's see what it is. It is the Torch of the Point Flex. So, it basically cremates the enemies on kill, and then it burns the enemies around. Up. And then you give a chance to summon, like, a skeleton. I was actually using it on my uh, Warlock. And it's, like, very meh, though. Easy. Too easy. Now we should be A-OK. -okay. real quick okay so with this one over here we can just get more of this uh bleeding fury or i can look into something else if i'm like over getting that i think there was some slow was there like a slow that we can apply uh, there is a slow over here but we have to make it so we lose like a bunch of well it's just like three percent attack speed it's probably not that big of a deal uh uh, you can make it, the poison go to bleed. So you can, I could just actually just make this have way more bleed, which I'm scaling damage over time, which isn't that bad. This makes it so they become, was it, uh, puncture just more damage against slow. Oh, okay. Oh, every 10 seconds, the next puncture. That, that's, it's too slow for me. Uh, I guess this wouldn't be that bad if I want to just go ahead and get this poison and then eventually we convert all the poison to, uh, bleed anyways so then it's just basically more bleed and then with this one over here i think piercing two targets is enough uh we can just get more damage uh what is it it's not like we always get additional projectiles and it already pierces this could be actually okay for clearing later though it's not gonna matter because we're going to respec out of uh, a bunch of stuff and we're gonna make the ballista explode Definitely want to get the hidden gem one. Are we playing offline? No, we're playing online. Online is working. It is indeed working. Just played Diablo, but we've already played Diablo. We've got every character level 100. Every class. Fire damage. Ooh, this might actually be an upgrade. Let me see. What's this one? Ooh. Let's see what the damage is on this. 580. Oh, it's like the difference is one. Uh, this one gives us nine heal. Uh, this one, we have nothing else to add into it. Now, this one does give us cold damage, so we actually have some like sort of leech here. But uh, the reason why I actually want to go with this one, if I can, uh, we can put health on kill. I'm usually not going to run this anyways. So now I have four health on kill. I can upgrade it to six. Maybe go to nine, but... I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Uh, let's see. This is... 5, 8, 5, 6, 4, okay. Oh, wait. Did this one have, like, resistance? That's 5 void res. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, the reason why I'm swapping is because we get elemental damage, which gives us leech, which is more sustained.
I really like the uh, controller support for this game. All right, so we got increase. Oh, two re good resistances. Oh, actually, there's a lot of resistances. Doesn't give us damage, but like that really helps out with resistances. Yeah, I think I'm gonna snag that right now. Uh, get rid of some garbage here. And then I always like doing these. It's kind of a challenge. Oh wait, oh yeah, there's the exile mage, there we go. Thirty-five stacks of lead already. All right, let's see what the sash is. Uh, not a very good one. Gives us much of health regen, but nothing super useful. I do really want a shield, though. If we see a really good shield, I'll, I'll think about it. But it also requires to get another weapon. Uh, let's go this way, because this way is for hidden gems. And that one, if we look at hidden gems, it does give us a passive skill point. So that makes it worth it. And then also we can put a point uh, into... Uh, I guess we can get mana. Like, Or we can get the cleanse effect. That actually is a pretty good thing, too. Let's get this. Uh, we're gonna work towards getting the, the cleanse. off this we have another uh, thing over here so we're gonna get more dodge what's the name of this game last epoch is the name we're doing the campaign and I believe this at this part we're like this is our like four shower mark Ooh, that's big damage that we just took right there Probably could replace our relic. Our relic needs an upgrade, which is this little like cup here. So ideally we get a bunch of resistances if we can here. I mean, cold damage, I guess that works with that, but it's really, it was just there for the health region. I think we, we got that off the gambler. Next time we can maybe get something better at like literally off of vendors. <laughs> That thing really needs to be replaced. Resistances, but it's still pretty bad. Wait, how is this? Increased melee damage. Oh. Mm. 
This guy is really deadly. Lots of poison, like, mines that he throws down. Looks like we're in, like, the perfect spot. He, for some reason, isn't throwing mines exactly what we're, where we are standing. It's, like, a crazy coincidence. But, okay, he, when he dies, I guess all of them go away, which is good. That buried in the slums. She told me of the Emerald Magasa. Hopefully these gloves will have... Uh, toxic. That's probably some poison. Poison damage. Healing. Okay, this is just still terrible. Alright, what have we got on this? Int, crit strike, chance, fire res. Uh, is it? Yeah, these definitely need to be replaced. <laughs> I mean, the resistances aren't that bad. But... It's a total of what? It's a total of 36 resistances. But it doesn't really do anything for our character. If I was playing a character that could use it, I would... Like, if it's plus to dex, I would just swap immediately. Still need to do hidden gems, so we'll go do that one. Here we go. got a legendary drop too let's see what did we get a dagger i haven't really scaled specifically bow so we could actually go dual wield we'll see what, what it is though Sign Targe. Minion. I mean, I like the 12 res. That's kind of nice. The block chance is kind of low, though. With shields, you you want as high as block chance as possible. Ooh, and we got another skill specialization. So, uh, I actually don't mind the, uh, the falconry. I think that this one is actually not bad at all. Definitely a good one. Uh, one of the... Falcon hits an enemy with Falcon Strikes. It marks them. So we do some more damage. I'm not sure if that... It says your next hit. I don't know if that counts as other minions. But there is... Uh, is there any, like, speed? I don't want to get as much movement speed. Okay, this is... Okay, let's see. Throwing cooldown speed. Okay. Falcon uses Feather Knives at nearby enemies. Oh, it just does it automatically. I kind of like the idea of just things being automatic. Whenever Falcon kills enemies or hits a boss or source. Yes, this is what we want. So... Uh, we either go for this with Falcon Strikes, which is, well, I guess we'd have to activate it. Uh, or we can go, okay, oh, we want that one, 100%, 100%. Ah, uh, you reduce a portion of Falcon, Falcon Strikes, oh. I don't really want to put two points in that because it just feels like it's useless, but that, that one definitely is really good. Uh. But either way, I have to put two points into that. I just want this. This is this thing is really, really nice to have. But I have to. Oh, well, as long as we get this, that's what like, I actually kind of want. Let's get the health and uh, mana. When you use Falconer's Mark, uh, oh, you can get this, which gives you a buff. You know what? Going that route might actually not even be that bad. And the reason why is... Yeah, I think I'd rather go that route. And the reason why... So, I'm going to go despecialize, and, and then we're going to respecialize into it, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so we're going to go grab one point of this, two points there, just as long as we can get this. And the reason why is when you consume Falconer's Mark, so when I just activate it, I get to get some extra, um, well, it's only for one second. You get five seconds, though. That's, that's actually not bad at all. 
in terms of its overall duration. So I'm just gonna get more dodge. I just want as much survivability as possible. And then uh, pretty soon, uh, where is it? Uh, okay, this is actually really good. We're gonna be maxing that out, but we're gonna be maxing that out later. Uh, that's gonna be for the explode. Okay, yeah, I wanna get a bunch of points into that as well. But we'll finish off this and then get extra dodge rating too. We want. Because I feel like our, our character is doing enough damage, maybe some more survivability would be a, a better option for now. But it really comes down to, we just are lacking a lot of drops in terms of gear. And that's the thing with action RPGs. Uh, we, we picked up that legendary, right? Forgot to go check out what we actually got as a drop. Is this game better than Diablo 4? In many ways, yes. Okay, so here's the dagger that we got. So it's the drought's release. So we get plus an acid flask. We get missing health gain on a potion use. We also get increased area effect, increased poison damage, and three dollar attributes. Actually a really good thing to have. So if I was to run that acid flask with this, um, with the, the convert to cold, could, we could do something like that. But now our Falcon's gonna do way more damage. And we actually get some heals when the Falcon attacks. And mana, like that's why Falcon here is so good. The only thing it doesn't really do that would have been nice is if it actually like tanked for us. Thirty-nine stacks of bleed. That's huge. Oh, we need a better amulet. Let's see, nineteen HP. When she told me it'd take the courage of a ruby and a ghast, I didn't expect this. Sounds like golem or something. Do I like hamburgers or chicken sandwiches more? Dang. Uh, I think it's really hard to mess up a chicken sandwich, but like you can definitely have a bad burger that's like overcooked. So, for consistency, I think chicken burgers are more consistent. Okay, next boat. What do I think of Lost Ark? I love the way the game looks like. I like the, the the anime, like, you know, proportions. I like it. It's got that Eastern art style. But in terms of gameplay, it to me, it's more MMO than action RPG. Falcon leveling up again. So, additional Falcon strikes. I don't really care too much about that. Uh, as far as this buff activating, let's see. Uh, cooldown recovers are in consumption. Mm. So you can just do it again and again. Wow, that could be interesting. I actually haven't checked out this tree fully because it's a brand new like class. Uh, falcon strike down calls your Falcon to swoop down in a line. Attacking all enemies in a line rather than hitting them individually. Huh. I don't know if that's better or worse. What else can we get? Falcon, oh, you can make it fear. Like, what else can you make it do? Portion of your global increased melee damage, increased throwing damage, and increased bow damage now applied to your Falcon. That's actually probably pretty good. Now I'm thinking about going on that other route, but this is only one point. Originally, I was thinking of going this way, uh, but then I'd have to despecialize again, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal because we're going to have uh, basically faster XP up until a certain point. Let's see what else we can get. Um, portion of your chance to bleed. Now also applies to Falcon. Wow. 
pretty cool stuff. I mean, I guess we can go this way. If Falcon deals more damage, I mean, just free extra damage. Uh, there's Acid Flask. You can put Acid Flask on the Falcon. <laughs> That's pretty cool too. I, I mean, it gains additional melee damage equal to a portion of your added melee damage throwing blow. Oh, okay. I mean, it's 10% there, but I, I think this is actually really strong as well. And I can actually go this route. I don't really care about making the enemies being feared. If Falcon Strike kills, it hits an additional time. I think this one actually might be one of the best things uh, because you can get, oh, it doesn't scale. But like you can keep on getting it to reset and it's gonna cost how much mana? Oh, it costs 35. So you make it be, oh man, it's a big chunk of cost of the ability. But I mean, if you get five seconds of 15% move speed and attack and cast speed, it could be good. But I kind of like the uh, idea here of it being kind of automated. So like, I'm just gonna get all these and I'm just gonna get the ones where it applies. Um, like it can just do free attacks and the, yes. 50% like yeah my chance to bleed and all this stuff like that's really good Let's just go continue now though Ooh, Got kind of close over there Helm. Let's see if th that rolled any good. Deflection might be Thorn's damage, which is not something we would actually want. Like damage. Uh... Let's see. Ooh, a large bow. Let's see. Increased damage while holding a bow. I like that, but this size. Uh, can we actually run this? Cool. Uh, let's see. So this is what I wanted to look at. Sword. Okay, five health regen. Physical resistance is kind of nice. Sixteen. What do we have here? It's basically just twenty-five HP. Mm. Sixty-two armor, and so we get more armor. This, the crit chance doesn't really matter because it's extra vitality, and then it gives us another eleven fizz res. I don't think it's a bad idea to grab. It's like it's, it's a lot of DR on physical. Wish I'd seen it. I can only All right, so this is the last one in this area. We'll finish off this. This will wrap up our this fourth play session here. Our damage is super good still. Uh, it's one of those where we're gonna walk all the way around. Richard, thanks so much for the gift on TikTok, man. Appreciate it. Um, just got another Falcon point. And more dodge. And we get more dex. We haven't gotten any items with dex. That was kind of like the main problem, though, in, in our little play session. But we could craft it all, but I'd rather save it for later. Advice. 
Don't ask her about the diamond. The Imperial major. forces. You'll regret it. Let's go. Right, so about an hour and ten in this little part. Alright, let's get to the next yeah, next waypoint, which is right here, and then we'll resume the next part right from this waypoint. Uh, we'll also put in the last uh, point over here for Falcon. So the uh, the path that I'm going to go is, like, around here. Uh, I didn't want to put a point into here because I don't really care about the... Uh... Uh, boy, can you hit this one? Wait, when you use... Wait, it's... Oh, it's... 5% of it. That's actually not that bad, but I'd rather just go for this over here. Get just more damage, and then it's gonna apply our ailments. We could actually have it apply 200% of our own, like, ailment shred armor. Like, this is actually so good. Like, it's crazy how good Falcon is. <laughs> like, it is so, so good. But I really just wanted uh, this thing uh, trained to hunt, which gives us a portion of our highest amount of whatever. It's just applied to the Falcon. It's like just free damage. I just get crit chance. <laughs> Everything is so good. I actually am really excited about Feather Knives because it's just another ability that it will actually have. But it's gonna wrap up our fourth part of our, uh, I was about to say Pee last Epoch uh, play session here. Next time we'll resume, it'll be right over here and uh, we'll put in this other point here for the extra dodge. That'll be the end of this one.